of all, happy new year. Happy new year. Happy new year. Happy new year. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. But no, for real, happy new year, y'all. 2018. It's just it's just a breath of fresh air, you know? It's welcome back to the channel. Thank you for coming back, for tuning in for another vlog, another video. Black girl, white coat, 2018, we here. What's up? What's up? What's up? Thank you guys for 4,000, over 4,000 subscribers now on YouTube. Let me, Sandra, look on me, like... That's crazy. Thank you guys so much. I am so appreciative of the support that y'all show me on a daily basis. Black Girl White Coat 2018 for all of my supporters, my subscribers, everybody who's been down since the beginning or if this is your first video watching, welcome. We are now sisters and brothers, okay? As always, continue to stay in communication with me. Like, um, comment, DM, email, anything. Let me know what you want to see, what you want to hear about. Any questions, comments, concerns, y'all are always welcome to reach out and talk to me. I'm, that's what I'm here for. That's what Black Girl White Coat is about. It's for giving you guys advice, for allowing you guys to see a transparent look into the life of a medical student, um, a black woman, African, Nigerian parent, like, all that, everything about me, I want y'all to see, you know, 100% the real. I never really sugarcoat things. Um, that's not me, you know, hashtag no filter. But today is just gonna be another, you know, short vlog talking about my first semester of second year, which I wrapped up, you know, in 2017. And we gonna keep that in 2017, okay? Because let me tell y'all, second year got off to a rough start, like, I'm still in second year now, okay, second semester, second year, and um, I'm determined to attack it completely differently. And the reason I say this is because first semester dragged me out. So I posted a written piece on my website about first semester already. If you guys haven't had a chance to look at that, um, I feel like it may be like a little down, like it's kind of a downer, but um, I try to be as transparent and as honest as possible, you know, not trying to lie about how I was feeling, my emotions, my feelings during the semester. So um, if it seems a little, you know, depressed, know that I'm not depressed and I wasn't depressed, but um, the semester really tried it, you know. Um, yeah, go ahead and read that and tell me what y'all think. My first semester, second year, um, started off with, uh, what is, I think we were learning GI, gastrointestinal system, in school. And that started off well because, you know, I spent my summer, uh, my first year summer, I spent that doing preceptorship. I traveled with Kenny. I relaxed. So I had a lot of time to just study like the first block of what we were going to do second year just to make sure I was ready and you know I was like coming in you know feeling great about myself which I did because that block went well. Um, but then the next block comes around and it's time to start studying for step. So if you guys don't know what step is, step one USMLE is a board exam that um, some medical schools take at the end of second year, some medical schools take at the end of third year but it's a board exam that you have to take in order to finish medical school and um, get accepted into a residency program. So residency programs do require step one, at least as far as I know. Um, so yeah, it's an exam, kind of like MCAT, you know, 5.0, because it's, 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 <laughs> it's shaping up to be um, scary. Uh, yeah. It's it, just y'all just pray for me, you know, I'm gonna make a video about step I was gonna do it like before and tell y'all what I'm doing to prepare But honestly, I'm just gonna wait till after I take it which is gonna be in April the end of April um, Y'all keep that date in mind pray for me uh, pray for me and just you know, keep me in your prayers because um, Yeah, so studying for it um, tried to get started on that last semester um, I was really ambitious, really, you know, excited to start on that, but mixing that with school and then we had a problem going into the second block, which was like neuroscience and behaviors or something, uh, which was supposed to be like neuroscience, neuroanatomy and psychology mixed all together in um, a span of like two or two and a half months or something. That was rough because my school is known for being super, super nitpicky with neuroanatomy um, and neurology. 
I don't know why my school specifically is known for that, but that is something I figured out. And funny story is, I was on a plane with my mom to LA and I sat next to this guy who was like really fidgety. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, he was really fidgety the whole flight or whatever, but you know, I didn't think anything of it. But you know, I guess he was just like tired of keeping quiet. Like you can tell he's a guy who likes to talk and I was just not trying to do that. Um, just trying to enjoy my vacation, you know, my start of my vacation. But he really wanted to talk. So at the end, I got up to use the restroom and then my mom also likes to talk. So they would start talking, you know, when I get back. My mom was like, Sandra, he went to your school. I was like, what, Baylor? He was like, no, I'm a, um, I'm a neurologist. You know, I went to UT. Uh, I know it's now called McGovern. I went there, you know, graduated from there so many years ago. And um, yeah, now I'm working in the sci fair area or whatever. And I was like, whoa, we're just starting neurology and neuroanatomy. He was like, it's gonna get crazy. He's like, you know that doctor, like blank, y'all have? I was like, yes, he's still there. He's like, yeah, he's hard. And I was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> So apparently my school is known for being really hard in this subject. Definitely lived up to its name because I struggled and it was just a whirlwind of disaster for me. Um, you know, but I tried and I held it together as much as possible past, not saying that I failed or anything, but um, I did struggle through neurology, neuroanatomy, um, quite more than I ever have since I got to medical school. It reminded me of like when I first started school again. Like I felt like I was back on square one, page one, day one. And that was very uncomfortable for me. And as I put in the blog, in the written piece that I posted, um, the first semester was just filled with discomfort and just uncertainty and you know self-doubt because I really began to doubt like my intelligence. I was like, am I really, smart enough for this like what am I not getting why are things not clicking for me like I couldn't study for a step and you know focus on neuroanatomy at the same time I couldn't you know do two things at once or do like I didn't even do one thing at once well like you know it was just difficult and I began to question like myself like you know what am I doing wrong like am I really you know who I thought I was because like I'm used to being you know I'm used to getting things easily or you know just not easily, but I'm used to getting things eventually at least. And I felt like I was just never getting anything, like things just were not clicking. Um, long story short, I was just in a weird place. Like I had gone from like a high, you know, leaving summer, getting through that first block and then had definitely got to a low. Um, and as my academics and my, you know, confidence about my study skills, my preparation for step as at all like plummeted so did my fitness goals my personal health like I was just eating trash and I hate when I eat trash because it makes me feel even worse so I was feeling confused in school you know feeling like I had just started medical school again and I'm a second year like this is not supposed to be how I'm feeling you know and um I was eating trash which makes me feel like trash I was like skimping on my workouts like I wasn't you know I just wasn't keeping myself up and I wasn't like doing anything that I would usually do like I wasn't the typical Sandra at least I would say um of course I kept it together you know externally like you know no it was it was rough second year got off to a rough 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 start first semester so after NSB which is the neuroscience neuroanatomy psychology I really like psychology by the way but that wasn't the problem. That was like the least of my worries. So uh, yeah, neurology, not, I'm not gonna be a neurologist, I don't think as of, at this point, uh, because I'm tired. I'm very tired, okay? Then we go into endocrine. Um, right before Christmas, we had a speed block of endocrine. And that was actually really interesting. I actually found it um, way easier to follow. I understood it more. Everything made sense, like diabetes, like pancreas, okay? You know, everything just like, I could connect the dots. Started feeling like myself again, feeling more confident, smiling more, laughing more, you know, and trying to pick up the pieces that neuroscience had broken. You know, I, I started to put it all back together and I was really proud of myself for doing that. Um, and I definitely noticed a change in my mood. So if you're tracking this with me, second year starts up here in the middle, you know, it takes a, it takes a deep dive. And then endocrine going into Christmas break, I was definitely feeling way better and I was definitely on the come up and um, yeah, I was determined to, you know, 
end the year, you know, just afloat, you know, end the year with my head on my shoulders and just with a plan um, and a way to execute 2018, the beginning of 2018, um, better, better than 2017 had ended. I, I just wanted everything to be just more focused and planned and detailed and, you know, diligent this year. And honestly, so far, so good. Thanks be to God. Glory be to God. Um, so far, 2018, second semester, second year has been going well. Um, so I'm loving, I'm back to loving what I'm learning. I'm back to, you know, enjoying things, enjoying every day. And um, I just wanted to share with you guys just, you know, a little bit about 2017 and how that went for me. How I'm determined to make 2018 the rest of my second year, you know, just completely different from that. And I came up with a plan, you know, for school and for step studying that just really just has me focusing and just drilling more hours, dedicated hours every day um, to studying and uh, limiting distractions and making sure I'm focused on the topic at hand. And um, so that's really my goal um, academically, just to be focused, um, to be disciplined, and just to really uh, be diligent in my work each and every day. A big goal for me 2018 is to take every day, like, just for its own you know just when I wake up that day I want to you know give my thanks to God spend time with God do my meditation my uh, workout you know get my day started on a good note get my cup of coffee or two um, and get my day started just in a positive sense and I feel like that's the most important thing because I'm a morning person, so the the way my day starts, and you know, I wake up super early, but the way my day starts really determines like the tone, sets the tone and the mood for the rest of the 24 hours. So I really want to focus on those first couple hours, getting my workout, my Bible study, and my breakfast in, you know, and just getting the day off to a good note. Um, so the model for 2018 is to take every day by itself, you know, take every day for its own, for what it's worth, be in the present, and you know. Um, give all my attention to everything that I'm doing right then and there. So I want to make the most of every 24 hours. I want to make the most of my study time. If I um, plan on studying for nine hours that day, then I need to make the most of those nine hours and make sure that I'm learning what I want to learn, what I need to learn for the day, and um, giving it my all in that time that I allot for studying. So that I only have to allot that much time so that when I'm done with that time, when I'm done with study time, when it's time to transition to, you know, dinner and bed and, you know, Netflix and whatever else I want to do at night, um, I'm able to sit back comfortably and, you know, be able to say and look back on the day like, wow, Sandra, you really did try hard today. Even if, you know, things weren't clicking when you were studying or I got frustrated at some point in the day with something, um, you really did try today. You really went hard for nine hours, eight hours, seven hours. You really went hard and you really studied. You really did all your questions. You hit all the bullet points for today. And you know, you did a good job. Like you got your workout and you ate clean today. Like, you know, you didn't give into temptation in any way. You did a great job today. Now I can relax. Now I can, um, you know, thank God and go into tomorrow, you know, with the same energy. Like, you know, in fact, tomorrow I'm even gonna talk today. That's how I wanna feel every day. That's my focus is to take things one day at a time because I found that last year what I did a lot was you know focus on you know next week and next week and next month and you know how am I gonna feel in February you know when I'm supposed to be you know at least 70% ready for step how am I gonna like no I need to focus more on what's happening today right now how can I do well today how can I complete my to-do list today how can I study to the most of my abilities today and um, leave tomorrow for tomorrow leave next month for like next month step is not moving it's not going anywhere anywhere I have to complete it whether I like it or not by, by fire or by force step has to get done so why not just give all my energy to preparation today? And um, I didn't do that before. I was definitely a worrier. I definitely um, thought about the future and focused on that only. Well, a majority of the time, that would be my focus. And that would just really stress me out. That would just cause me to worry more and be more anxious about tomorrow, be more anxious about what the future holds for me. And like, uh Get thee behind me, Satan. I am no longer worrying. I am no longer anxiety ridden. Like, no. Today is here today. Today is the present. There's no time like the presence. And I want to make the most of today. 
because you know god woke me up today and i'm allowed to see another day like that's beautiful so that's my goal for 2018 yeah, there's nothing that god puts on my plate puts on my agenda that he hasn't equipped me to handle there's nothing that he brings to me that he hasn't already given me the weapons to you know defeat to conquer to fight to have the victory over and i already know the end of my story is victory i already know that i'm a winner in the end i already know that this is my purpose passion you know all that good stuff so i have nothing to stress about nothing to worry about like i have jesus like what <laughs> Jesus done passed up about 617,000 times. Okay, I don't even know what I just said. But I have Jesus and there's nothing to worry about. And that's mood all 2018, so get at me. But that's it for today's vlog. I hope you guys like it. Um, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, send me emails, say hi, pray for me. So excited for 2018 and I hope you guys are too. Um, God bless. Happy New Year. And tune in next time for another episode of Black Girl White Code.